Hey y'all, it's C. Welcome to Ear Candy with C. And joining me in the studio today is Lonnie Britton. Hey Lonnie, how's it going? How you doing? Good to, good to see you again. Good to see you too. So you're the former founder of Blue Soul Redemption. So tell us, what is your fondest memories of working with the band? Oh man, uh, when we first got together, um, we really started like leaps and bounds. We were doing um, uh, House of Blues in Myrtle Beach a couple times. We sold a, a lot of records. Uh, we actually won the Mixer Magazine. It used to be here in Greenville. Oh wow, yeah, I heard of the, the Mixer. Best, yeah. uh, was it the best music makers of 2013, something like that? Really? Yeah, so, Congratulations. Thank you. So if you could describe your sound with a color, what would it be? Blue. Blue. Well, it's also a part of your name too, Blue Soul Redemption. Right. Something about just blues, you know, the, the root of blues music, you know, mm -hmm. rock and uh, R and B, rock and stuff like that. That's what I really, really enjoy. At what age did you discover your musical talent? A long time ago, I was like five or six, maybe. But I didn't start playing guitar. I taught myself how to play the guitar when I was like eighteen. So. You taught? Oh, you're self-taught. Yes. So you play by ear then? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes, definitely. I love it. I mean, yeah, I can pick up most of the time. If I can hear somebody on, on mm -hmm. a note, I can pick it up. So. Do you play any other instruments besides the guitar? I play harmonica sometimes. Really? Mm -hmm. I like the harmonica. I just love all instruments. I do too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Who are some of your musical influences that you grew up listening to, and who are they now? TZ Top, Black Crows, BB uh, King, John Lee Hooker, um, all the old guys. You know, uh, Otis Redding was one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, all those R&B soul guys. James Brown. That's when I really want to get down to James. I turn. I put some James on. We <laughs> Do you go like Jimi Hendrix? Yes. Well, I mean, who doesn't? You got me, really. Right. And if you're a guitar gone. player, of course you like Jimi Hendrix, right? Oh yeah, I'm just a rhythm guy. Though. I wish I could play like the, the guys <laughs> in my band. They they go crazy on it. I'm like. I can't play like that. <laughs> I can sing a little bit, so you know. What's the best career advice someone has ever given you? Um, don't quit. Don't quit. Perseverance, just keep going. Even if it gets yeah. tough, it gets heavy, just keep going. So can you play something for us? You have this beautiful beautiful guitar in your lap. I just wrote this one maybe six months ago. I started okay. on, it's called It's Heart of Mine. Got my share of sin that I'm not proud of. I get high, I get low, I'm not the easiest man to love. I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I've been. There's a lot of things I've done that I never want to do again. So if you don't love me, baby, just I don't want to be that man hanging around, just wasting time. And if you don't need me, don't try to say amen. You don't have to worry about this old heart of mine. Sounds really good. Thank you so much. But you can find me on uh, Reverb Nation, uh, some of my original stuff, mm -hmm. uh, Lonnie Britton, and uh, you can find me uh, YouTube. We got some old stuff up there. Okay. But Facebook really is, uh, and Instagram is where I try to post most of yeah. my stuff right now. Well, thank you so much, Britton. Thank you. Lonnie Britton. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. Absolutely. And thanks for tuning in to Ear Candy with C. Be sure to come back every week to hear more Ear Candy only on Hello ENC.